good morning. Uh, it is actually, I think about two-ish. No, almost three. Um, so it's not morning anymore, but good morning anyway. Um, I just started another batch of, um, in the pressure cooker. And I wanted to show you something. Um, I have been for a very long time, well, five or six years, I have been reusing my lids. And everybody says, oh, well, there are only a couple of sets and then you can, well, what if, what if there came a situation where you couldn't get lids and you still had to preserve your harvest? Or you still, you had food in the freezer that, and the freezer's gone out. What are you going to do if you don't have lids? So a few years ago, five or six years ago, I started reusing lids. And at first it was just a test. I did one bottle and it sealed, and six months later it was still sealed, and then I did one batch, and all of them sealed, and all of them stayed sealed, and then I did a batch, and one of them didn't seal, and one of them lost its seal pretty quickly. So I have come up with a, with a group of guidelines as far as choosing which lids you're going to reuse. Now, this is an absolute no. The rim is bent, the top is bent, it still has the popper, but the popper doesn't pop back up. You have to push it. Okay, it has to pop back up naturally. So those are three things. The rim is bent, the lid itself is damaged, and the popper is not coming. So, next, this is another no. As you can see, the coating is starting to wear off and the metal underneath has rusted. It's an absolutely not. These are actually rusted lids. The outside, whether the inside is, is rusted or not, and in this case it actually has started to rust, the outside is rusted. I don't want those on my jars. Rust, rust around the edge, okay, and rust, okay, don't want those on my jars. This is another one, okay, looks good, right, looks good, there's, there's no rust, uh, the, the popper is, is in its correct position, um, but, got a little bit of a problem here. I can find it. Okay, I have to, because the light isn't very good, I have to, um, these, these two, have a damaged edge. Okay, so this one, because the damage, the edge is damaged, it's not going to pop back. It's not going to seal correctly. Right there, okay. So I know that there was a damaged, oh right, this was the weird one. Um, this one, if you look closely, you can see that the entire rim here is curled toward the bottom. It's, it's not a standard, the lid is, is actually warping inward. So that's a no. Alright, so here we have a lid that is not only rusted, but dirty. Um, and this stuff is not coming off in the wash. It is not scrubbing off. I don't want that on my food. Again, same thing. Right here, the uh, coating has come off, but the rest of this is just dirty. And I don't know whether it's tarnished, whether um, the rust is starting, but I do not want that in contact with my food. And the last one, the last absolute no, well, there are actually a couple here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there are places right here where the seal itself has started to wear away. Right here, you can see the, seal, the, the uh, paint through the seal. 
those are a no. I don't want anything that has any bubbles. And I couldn't find a lid when I was looking for these. I couldn't find a lid that showed bubbles. Um, but sometimes you'll get bubbles in the seal. And you don't want that. That will prevent a good seal. Um, there were a couple of other things that I wanted to show you. Um, maybe this will be a good example. Okay. Now, this is a lid that I would not reuse, but if it was just based on this side, I would reuse it. You see how deep the furrow is around the outside? That's okay. It will still seal as long as the as long as the seal itself is intact. I chose not to use this one because it's got rust on the back. But otherwise, if it was just that, or if it, was, if it wasn't rusted, I would be using this one because even though it has a really, really deep furrow, now this one's been used more than once, I just continue to reuse the lids until they start to show weaknesses. And sometimes they'll get rusty. They will get damaged. And then I put them aside and use them for other things. But for now, I have one two, three, four, five batches, and five batches of, oh, I'm actually doing pints, um, so let's see, nine, 18, um, 18 pints in a batch, and uh, five batches, so whatever number that is, and I only had two lids that didn't seal. Um, one of them because the edge was broke, was bent and I didn't notice. And the other, I really don't know. I suspect that there was um, fat or something on the, on the rim of the bottle. Um, when I, I went around, but when I resealed them, um, the, the lids that they had, the lids that had not sealed, sealed just fine. Um, so no problems there. Anyway, um, this is my process. Um, I inspect every lid before I reuse it. Um, there have been a couple of failures in the time that I've been doing this, but I tend to get more failures from the new lids than the old. Talk to you later.